Welcome to another Coding Like Mad MATLAB tutorial. In today's video, we will teach you how to make linear fits in MATLAB and how to extend that to polynomial fits. This is useful when you want to extract physical parameters from a model or if you want to predict unknown data you haven't seen before with the regression model. If you want to see more videos like this, consider subscribing. We release new videos weekly on this channel covering MATLAB and data science topics. To begin with, let's take a look at some example code. In this code, we start by generating a bit of fake data. In this case, we know the right answer. The model is a cubic model with a constant, linear, and random term. In real life, sometimes you know how many polynomial terms you want, and sometimes you just want to make the best prediction possible. In a later video, I would like to get into how to choose this number properly, but for the moment, let's assume you just need a linear model. In this code, we use the polyfit command to fit our x and y data points, and we pass it a third argument, in this case the number 1. Not surprisingly, this is specifying that we want a linear model. If you wanted a quadratic model, you would use the number 2 for the third argument. The p parameter in the output contains the fit coefficients, and the output s parameter contains the fitting quality metrics, how much residual error was left, how many degrees of freedom were used, if you want a measure of how good the fit actually was, this is the place to look. Next up, I want to actually use this model. So here I predict the original set of x coordinates. In practice, it's most interesting when this coordinate is not in your original data set, of course. Either you want to interpolate and go between your data points or extrapolate and go outside them. One thing to be especially careful about here is the order of the parameters in P. Notice that the highest index of p is the constant coefficient, while the linear, and by extension highest coefficient, is in the first index of p. So how did this actually look? We see that a linear fit is actually a great fit to this data. Let's say we wanted to do a more complicated model. Let's actually do a cubic model this time. You can see all we did was increase the third argument from a 1 to a 3. But the model application line contains a lot more terms. We now have a quadratic term and a cubic term in addition to the original constant and linear terms. This produces a much more appealing fit. Whether it was the right one to use or not depends on the specific data though. In this case we know because we made the data that a cubic fit was actually the right model. But even the linear model looked pretty good. As I said, in a future video, I'd like to go over how to make this decision in a more concrete and reliable way. Today we've looked at how to do linear and polynomial fits to lines in MATLAB with the command line. I should note that there's also a curve fitting toolbox and application, but for fast fits and for plugging your results into other scripts and functions, I find this far more convenient. If you like this video, please consider liking it and subscribing to the channel. It really helps us out. If you have suggestions for future videos or questions about this one, I'd love to hear about it in the comments below. We'll try and get back to you as soon as we can. See you next time and have a great day.